so you're in production, and there's a lot of anticipation for it, shooting in Atlanta. But did you realize how big the show was actually going to get in those early days of shooting? No, actually, not, not at all. I also went to Greg's studio and was equally as amazed by all the just crazy memorabilia from all of his past work there. And uh, I remember getting fitted for the bite marks um, on my arm and my neck. And, and, and I think it was at that point that I, I honestly, it started seeping in what kind of a role I was actually about to embark on. But other than that, I mean, we, Frank was the leader at that point of, of, of the first season, and it was sort of, for me, that was the most exciting part because obviously he's done amazing work in his past. But it was just the group of us, and we went down to Atlanta together, all together, and we were sort of living through this zombie apocalypse together, and we didn't know how it was going to be received. So, so there wasn't, I mean, I can't, talk to the feeling on set in the other seasons um, when it after it's already become a huge hit and a huge success and all of that. But there was there was this nice kind of quiet peace around what we were doing, um, which which I'm just so grateful that I was able to be a part of. But then um, I think I think probably by episode maybe four or five, we it, we started realizing, yeah, this is gonna be a pretty awesome Awesome show. I mean, when you have like the entire crew watching takes and being riveted and not wanting to leave, you know, from behind the camera or video village or whatever, you kind of know that, that something good is happening. And we just hope that everyone else would, would appreciate it. And lo and behold, they did. So, yeah. The, the funny thing is that uh, you mentioned um, Frank Darabont, the showrunner from the first season. And and I, you, you're working with Glenn Mazzara right now, who's also getting ready to depart from, a, and I don't, I don't want this to be a, a us versus them mentality or anything else, what goes through your mind knowing that it's going to be a different showrunner when you start working on season four? Um, you know, there's, well, what they tend to do is they tend to reach from within is what I've noticed, and, and so there's, you know, there's a lot of trust that it's, it's going to be retained as a great product. And they've done that before. They know, you know, that how to do that. So, you know, no one knows, you know, the the ins and outs of everything. But you know, there's, I, I don't have any anxiety about about um, that transition um, in the sense of uh, the fact that they reach within, and so you're, it retains, um, it stays in the family in terms of how it's it's uh, it's it's put into the next motion. Awesome. There's there's a lot of questions, and I know that you guys want to get to them, so I'm going to throw to the questions. But one other thing. This isn't your first bit with makeup, uh, the season one of Walking Dead. The first time I saw you was in Frozen. And if any, it, 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 please tell me that some of you have seen the movie Frozen. Thanks, All right, so the rest of you go home and your Netflix queue because it's a really great, I don't want to say it's a quiet drama or quiet horror movie, but it really is. And there's a lot of, for somebody who's trapped on a ski lift bench, for, for 60 minutes of a 90 minute film, yeah. <laughs> and in the character arc for three or four days in the middle That's of freezing right. weather. Yeah. Um, was there a moment where you're looking at your hands uh -huh. and going, this is where I am as an actress, is that I have pulled the skin off of my hands to be able to survive? That I pulled the skin off my hands and peed myself and... Um, <laughs> I was going to leave that for that. Well, there's a lot. It was, and it's not the most glamorous role, but it was... Um, it was it was such a cool experience. It was another one of these experiences, very much almost in the vein of, of being on The Walking Dead, which was every day seemed so surreal. Like, and so with Frozen, you know, we shot everything practically. We were in Utah, up on a ski lift. So the premise is three ski lift, uh, skiers who skip school and get caught on a lift in the middle of a terrible winter storm, and no one knows they're there for you know basically a week. Um, so a lot of laughs, um, but. Yeah, no, I mean, we made the choice to shoot everything practically on a ski lift in Utah, three weeks of night shoots, it was 40 mile an hour winds, we were 70 feet off the ground, um, we worked with prosthetics, we worked with wolves, we worked with uh, 30 inches of snow uh, from a blizzard that hit us while we were in the middle of shooting. Um, it was it was really fun. I feel like I just got a lot of street cred for that, because you know, I got to, I was, it was just me, I was the only girl, and there's all these boys. And so I just, I want people to know I'm tough, even though I die a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say that again? 
Oh, thank you. Yes, I do. You can't, can't, you can't get rid of me, guys. You keep trying to get rid of me. You can destroy the brain and she still keeps coming. Let's we'll start over here. First off, uh, Denai, congratulations on playing one of the most badass characters on television right now. Second, I was wondering uh, what it takes, uh, if you don't mind discussing sort of your process into getting into the role of Michonne. Um, yeah, I'll talk about some of it. Some of it you have to keep private for me and the show, just for me and the show. Um, but, you know, a lot of it was, um, what I loved about even how they were crafting her on the page was she was reminding me of, uh, as a playwright, I had researched a lot about Liberian women in war. And she was reminding me of women in those war zones who became really formidable rebel uh, leaders in the armies. And I met those women, and there's a way that, you know, they're, they're all kind of riddled with PTSD, but they've sort of transformed into something very formidable. Um, and they've sort of put aside a lot of things that have no place in a world like this, like girly emotions. And I say that not really meaning that, you know what I mean? Um, and they've sort of put, they, they're, they're really looking to um, be their own empowerment in a world like that. And there was something about the spirit of those women that was very um, clear to me, even in how I approached her from the audition on, which was, um, that was a Michelle. She, she reminded me of a woman in the Liberian war zone, where everyone was a little scared of those chicks. In fact, they were more scared of those chicks, because it was kind of that hell hath no fury type of chick, you know, where she really is not trying to be girly. She's just remaining very empowered in the world she's now in and transforming accordingly. And so that really kind of energized how I, I looked at her. Um, and then like really looking at her on the, in the comic books, there were aspects of just how there was always something in her eyes that was, you couldn't fully read, but it was also kind of almost sad sometimes. You know, there's just different things going on in her eyes that sort of inspired me also. But um, yeah, that's what I'll shoot.